Okay, so now we're going to talk about how exactly do we build an email list. Okay, the very first thing that you need is an autoresponder. This is a piece of software such as Aweber, GetResponse, and there's many, many others where you will store your names and email addresses. You can do it various ways. You can store all kinds of fields. The, the one you obviously have to is the email, so it'll store as a minimum emails of everybody that comes onto your list. But I like to have name as well. The reason for that is because, well, there's, there's a, some thinking that says that it will reduce the, the opt-ins and maybe does a little bit. But I find the benefit on the back end when you've actually got the names and you're emailing to people with a real name it far outweighs the, the downside of not perhaps having quite so many emails on your list because those are just emails without a name. And sometimes people have a name in their email so you can kind of guess what it is. But then it's a real pain to um, add those names you know, manually. It's better just to get the name and the email up front and then you've got, you've got all the details you need really. You can just get email but I don't find it's quite as good. So that's what you need. You need an autoresponder. It's a piece of software that you purchase. You either pay. Well there's been quite a lot re uh, launched in the last year. So people are, because obviously advances in software, people are able now to produce their own. So there's a a huge amount to choose from and there's some you can actually do a one-time fee there's some free ones and then there's the classic ones like Aweber get response which are a monthly fee and that fee goes up depending on the amount of subscribers you have on that list so that's the first thing you need is an autoresponder so the next thing that you need is an opt-in page uh, what's also referred to as a landing page or a squeeze page it was nicknamed a squeeze page because basically it's a very small, short page where people coming to it have only really got one alternative, and that is to add in their name and email and click the button and they're added to your list. Okay. Now that's perfectly legal to do that. What you do is you, you offer an ethical bribe on your squeeze page that they get by getting, so that it's a trade off. They're, they're, they're giving their name and email to go onto your list you're giving them your, your the free gift, whatever it might be. And obviously, the better you can make that, the more the, the opt-in, the, the more you're going to get people coming onto, onto your list. Okay, so it's called what's called an ethical bribe. But that's the only alternative on that page. Now, you can obviously have opt-ins on a blog and all kinds of things like that. But the problem with that is that people have uh, lots of things they can do. So the opt-in rate's a lot, lot lower, you know, tiny. The way to do it, if you are going to use a blog, is to have a pop-up, which gives the people the chance to get something for free there and then. They have to opt, opt to get it, and then obviously they're back on the blog. So it's kind of an interrupt pattern where it pops up. They see the offer, they like it, they add in their name and email, they get what they want, and then they go back to the blogging. You use a pop-up to do that. Obviously a bit more complex. The easiest way is just to create a very, very simple page, okay, and then you send all your traffic to that. But obviously, in order to have a squeeze page or a landing page, you need domain and hosting. Okay, so the normal way to do that would be to have domain and hosting. It's better to split those two things, but uh, basically because then you can separate them, and if there's a problem in future, you've got them. You've got you, know, you don't lose both at the same time. So you buy a domain with one company, and then you buy hosting with another company. I mean, I've got hosting with. A, couple, a very, very good company called Vidahost who have just uh, merged. Uh, they've actually got several uh, services and they're kind of merging it all right now. It's not a big issue. It's all going to transfer to a, a different name. So when you hear this, you might find that this Vidahost itself doesn't exist anymore. It's called something else, which I can't quite remember what the name was. But I re highly recommend it because they're very, very good. And you do actually get one free domain with them. So you can register a domain and then that just costs you the hosting, which is very, very economic, something like $5 a month. for Very, very good cloud hosting. So uh, they could take a big launch, for example, on their cloud, on the cloud, because it's um, it, you're basically sharing the, the hosting with all everybody else who, who's got those kind of accounts. But you can have a, do it that way. You create a, a page on, your domain hosting but you have to buy the domain you have to buy the hosting hosting is usually a monthly charge domain is usually an annual charge the only other way of doing it very cheaply is to have something like amazon s3 which is very very cost effective and you can actually have your pages on there you just add an html page upload it 
and it's on there. Or you could do it perhaps on a say like a free WordPress site or something like that, like blog.com. We do it on there somehow. Uh, but basically, the, the more you can pay, the better the budget you have, the more you're going to be able to do this and do it, do it well. Okay. But you really want ultimately to have your own domain and hosting. I mean, you can control everything. You can put other pages on there as well. Okay. But you need to have a page online where people can go grab your gift by giving you their name and email and then that's then they're on your list okay now that is perfectly legal to do that because it's called an opt-in and what happens is people can opt out again so they have a, a when you send an email out they've got a little link right at the bottom of the unsubscribe link they can click on that and obviously some people they will just opt in get the gift and they'll unsubscribe can't help that, that happens. Don't worry about unsubscribes. You don't want us people on your list anyway if they are that kind of people. Also, people might not like the things you're saying. They might think it's not targeted enough to them. So they'll unsubscribe for that reason. Okay, so it's just part of the game is to have unsubscribes. Don't worry about it. If you're getting a lot of unsubscribes, it probably means that you're doing really good marketing. You know, it's just trade off. You don't ever you don't ever market it, people won't get any subscribes. They just they just go on there and be really, really cold and be completely useless that way. So uh, you need to get a squeeze page set up on your own domain hosting, send traffic to that, and then people will get onto your autoresponder email list. Okay, so that's really the only thing. The other thing you have to do is to build your list is to send traffic to it. So you get an autoresponder service, get domain hosting, put a, a page on there, send traffic to that page, and really promote the, the heck out of it so that um, you're getting loads and loads of new people coming on you need to kind of have a turnover really the kind of minimum is about a thousand a month to get on there to really get a good income and uh, you know to keep your list warm and to overcome you know that those who are going cold and not opening and those who are unsubscribing so you need about a thousand coming on a month that's what you want to target if you get say a 25 percent opt-in rate on your squeeze page which generally speaking is considered to be quite good these days then obviously you need about 4,000 visitors to your site which is going to be quite a bit of work you have to build it up over time but you've got to send traffic you want to really focus on sending traffic to that landing page and building your list that way because what you find is it's a numbers game the more you send the more quality people you will get the more response you'll get Obviously, your opt-in rate might go down a little bit, but that doesn't really matter because you've got the bulk, so you'll get the results that way. Okay.